All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it is I, Craft Chest, here with a vlog about a game that I stumbled upon. Actually, I got an email from Kairos Online. I haven't played that game in, seems like, two years now. It's been a good year since I've, uh, well, no, I logged on December-ish, I guess it was, maybe January. It's been a couple of months ago just to see uh, what the game had done maybe to improve because they've said they were going through all these massive improvements and if you see my camera kind of flickering a little bit i turned off some automatic settings and i'm sitting in the dark this is the camera with the screen and a light bulb right here because i don't feel like turning on a big light i'm just the reflection and all that good stuff just gets chaotic but anyway i got an email from kairos online saying that their game had been bought last year uh, from Ignite Games, and if you haven't heard of Ignite Games, then you've been under a rock, uh, someplace hiding out, playing nothing but WoW and uh, LOL. So, Ignite Games bought Kairos. They refined it. They cut out a lot of junk. They cut out a lot of nonsense that really didn't need to be in the game. Made it to where your XP was quest-based not just going out there grinding white wolves or grinding white mouths or gray, whatever they call the stupid monsters that they had in Cairo. Stupid monsters, yes, you heard me correctly. A lot of them just looked like somebody did some squigglies up there and said, hey, it's a monster. And they took out all that, made it to where it made sense of what the quest you were doing and kept a storyline going um, for you, as well as ch transitioning over to the different areas of the world a lot faster than they did in Kairos Online. Rosh Online, the return of Kairos, is the name of the game uh, that they ended up coming out with. I think it was closed beta last September, open beta in December. Now tonight at 2 a.m., about two hours from now, they are going, wait, is that right? 12, 1, 2, 3 hours from now, I can't count, what the hell? Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna take a two hour nap, that's what it is. But anyway, about three hours from now at 2 a.m., it's like you can see the clock, you don't know what time I'm posting this shit, uh, they're going to relaunch, or not, well, yeah, I guess it would be a relaunch. They're going to relaunch the entire open game, uh, and they'll be transitioning over, that's what they're doing right now, uh, the peoples from Kairos Online, which those people are some bitter, sad-faced people, pissed off because, oh, I'm losing this, and cry, 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 all my gear, all my characters, it happens. How do you think I felt when Fist of Food went down? You know, I had a, me a badass bow mistress on that game. And there's been a couple other games that I've played. I can't even remember the names of them. That they just, they were good games, but nobody played them. Nobody participated in Cash Shop, blah, blah, blah. And the game went away. All right. Uh, Rosh Online, the return of Kairos, is doing the transition over. Uh, bringing all the people that want to come from Kairos. Letting them transfer their accounts, uh, their level character. They're going to give them playing gear. And then they'll have to grind out all the other stuff to get it crafted back up to PK gear. Um, at all, blah, blah, blah. It's just a long story of what that's all about. Um, that has been a nightmare for those guys. Myself, I started off with a level zero nothing and actually tried this game from beginning up until now, which is a level 32 Paladin. I rolled me a Holy Knight so far, and I'm impressed with it. I love the way the game keeps you going from the beginning, uh, from the very first quest all the way up to right now I'm in Temptarune. Uh, hadn't quite met it to Pelt Rock, but so far it makes sense. It feels like an MMO with less grind than it would usually take to get to the end result of what you're looking for for your level that you're at, if that makes sense. Gear set, stat points, skill points, and so on and so forth. And crafting and fishing and mining, and oh yes, there's fishing in the game, there's mining in the game, there's mine takeovers, guild wars, in the game. There's castle sieges, guild wars in the game. So yeah, you could go in there and uh, people do guild recruiting. Um, and I've noticed that a lot of the guilds from the original Kairos have come over, but it's totally different people that are the guild leaders from the original Kairos. And I, I know that's gonna cause confusion among their ranks, but that's all them. Uh, and I'm not really joining the guild right now. I'm actually thinking about bringing back the Band of the Hawk uh, to Rosh Online. Yep, that's what it was. In our guild was, or my guild was, in uh, Kairos. But uh, death on the battlefield. If anybody watches Berserk, you know what I'm talking about. 
So anyway, where was I? Rosh Online. I'll put a link right down here. Give it a shot. Hey, worst case scenario, do like they tell you to do on League of Legends when you lose a game. Please stop playing. Uninstall. You know, when you get done, blah, 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 whatever. If you don't like it, you don't have to play it. Um, they also have a Facebook page. I've been posted up on there. That's what you hear a little beep in the background. It's not just them. That's my tweet deck uh, from everybody's post. And if you don't know what tweet deck is, you're missing out. It keeps you from cruising sites. I tell you the truth. And, hmm, what else? So I'll post a link to their site here. Download it. Get it ready. Patch it up. Be ready for 2 a.m. For the celebration is what they're calling it, where they're going to have massive XP boost, uh, massive drop rates. They're going to be having all the GMs there giving away stuff all day long. And I can't wait to jump in and actually see uh, what the end result is. Because, like I said, so far I'm impressed with it. And I'm going to end it there. So no matter if you play World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, Diablo 2, um, Windslayer, Peggle, Bejeweled, just remember, it's a craft of the mind. And it's all about the games. It's all about having fun to each his own, even if it's a clone. And that's all I'm going to say. Go get you a bone. I had to rhyme something at the end. Go out there and have some fun.